hello guys welcome back to my channel dp design and in this video we are going to perform a cfd simulation of an airfoil uh, which we have created in the last video and in the last video we have learned how to how to create the 3d model of an airfoil using the xy coordinate right so let's get started so first of all we have created a uh, one airfoil throughout through this data which we have created in the last video and we have extruded this uh, sketch to the 10 mm around 10 mm you can scale up this model now before going on to the cfd simulation we will save these as a airfoil okay which is a 2414 okay now we will go to this uh, flow simulation the solvex flow simulator if it is not turned on what you can do you can simply go to solvex adding and you can turn this on and if this option is not available to you then you can go to the add-ons and you can check on the solvex flow simulation right so keep it off as, as, a, as a per startup because it will consume a lot of time to open so make sure this is untick and this is tick if you are going to perform this cfd simulation right so in the flow simulation first we will move on to the wizard in the wizard you can set up the environmental condition and basic boundary condition you can select the project name i will select the project name is a airfoil 2414 and i will if any con configuration has been done by you then you can select the configuration different con configuration right i have not added any type of configuration in this model and you can select the unit system which will i will take the velocity is uh, kilometer per hour pressure in pascal mass in kg okay good and length in mm okay fine now next so first you have to look what kind of analysis you want to do either internal or external we will perform the external type simulation because it it is not bounded by any solid boundaries so we we will select the external and we will check the fluid flow okay and conduction if there is any heat transfer going on then you can select the conduction we will not take the time dependent because it will consume a lot of uh, com computational time so if you tick then it will uh, do the transient simulation and you can select the whatever type of second you you want to how for how much time you want to perform the simulation uh, you can check on the gravity as well so my gravity in the downward direction in the y direction if you want to add the gravity rotation of course not m3 surface no next we will select the materials so in the case we have to select the air of course water is not flowing flowing so also you can select the water and you can select the laminar and turbulent both both flows uh, has been included and if there is a supersonic flow or high mach number flow you can check the high mach number flow and humidity you can add if you want then we will keep it a, as an adiabatic well because there is no uh, temperature difference is going on and also the roughness i will keep it as a 0 micrometer now the environmental condition you have to give pressure and temperature so the pressure is a 101325 pascal and also temperature 293.2 kelvin also you can select the altitude how at how much altitude you want to perform the simulation it will change the data according to the altitude from the sea level i will keep it as a pressure i have the data of pressure, pressure and temperature so i will keep the selection of pressure and temperature and velocity parameter in what direction you want to perform the velocity vector so my velocity vector will be x direction right so in the x direction i will keep it as a 30 km per hour and you can check the turbulence parameters 
different software providing their turbulence models for it but you can here you can select the turbulence intensity turbulence energy and dissipation as well i will keep the same data okay finish and automatically it will generate the computational domain this computational domain is very less to perform the simulation there so i will edit this computational domain i will make it a, a little bit big to see my results properly yes okay airfoil is basically used to create the pressure difference so here downwards high pressure and low pressure okay i want to see the upper one okay. done so this is your computational domain the laser the computational domain and then the laser computational time it will consume i will hide this hmm. okay so these are the basic boundary condition you can give the real wall and ideal wall you can select according to your uh, situation and these are some external uh, environmental pressure static pressure for uh, internal type analysis in the goals you can select the surface goals how much force is generated over this surface you can split those surface into two parts so that you can uh, separate the upper upper surface and lower surface for a force distribution and pressure distribution also you can calculate the shear stress as well on the particular surface so i will select the global goals in the global goals if i want to calculate the drag if i want to calculate the down force then you can directly go to the normal forces these are the normal forces in the x direction my norm, normal force yes now in the x direction my drag yes in the y direction this will be my down force and in the z direction there, there will be a side forces i will now check the normal force z okay and if i want to calculate the shear stress i want to calculate the overall shear stress happening over the surface okay so so the shear stress always will be in a tangential form whenever it is acting and pressure will be the perpendicular to the surface and uh, yes also i will check the dynamic pressure that is the most important portion whenever you are doing the cfd simulation of an airfoil so the dynamic simulation dynamic pressure is main parameter you you have to calculate yes so these are the parameters i have selected for some goals you can select a more more parameters now if you want to customize your mesh then you can input the local mesh so before going into it, i will show you my meshing so this is my meshing it is quite fine i don't need more fine mesh it will consume a lot of time if you want to create then you can uh, do the refinement level but on a particular surface refining cells and all you can check now i am done with the my boundary condition my environmental condition now i will run my results and also if you want to like i want to stop my it uh, stop my result till the iteration 500 so what i will do i will directly go to the calculation control option in the calculation control option there will be the iteration so if i want to calculate up to 200 only so i will keep this as a 200 at a 200 it will stop and if you uncheck this and this are the criterion to stop so all things need to be satisfied this is for the convergence convergence of the goal you can check the calculation time as well if you want to calculate for an hour you can go for it it depends upon you upon your cpu how it is performing in the course and in the solving you can scale your simulation i will scale by one 
so you can untick if you are if you are not changing anything so in the additional parameters uh, this is about the ranch modeling and in the saving this is for transient modeling so if you are performing the transient simulation you have to check the periodic in the refinement i am not doing anything but you can go to the refinement level 7 yes these are my goals criteria okay done so i am done with the yes okay i have to see okay iteration is unchecked now i will run my simulation yes so you can see that the mass capturing is on wait for a decade here you can see iteration per one travel it will show the data over here the total fluid cells the fluid cells contacting solids this might be creating my boundary layer oh there is no preview once it will start it will show the preview over here this is still preparing for the calculation yes you can see that my results are calculating so now if you want to watch some kind of uh, plots right here like pressure temperature velocity depending upon the uh, iteration it is calculating so what you can do you can directly go to the graphs over here so you can insert the preview you can check the definition whether you, you have to select the front plane right plane or top plane whatever you want to select you can make the offset as well you can also check the manual minimum maximum what type of uh, more you want in the contours you will get something like this and in the iso lines there will be a lines where the major difference is happening so you can create the iso lines i think that will be the uh, best visualization process for uh, interpreting the results in the setting you you can select your parameters whatever you want to uh, then i will select the image uh, velocity what kind of email image size you can select for a highest quality i will select the 2000 2000 and you can select the pixels of 4000 for a better quality in a 4k right and if you want to save the video the whole video uh, with that uh, with the iterations so you can select the option you can also select the save images and you can select the save video so it will save the video according to there and you can select the region in what region you have to show the result okay so this is how can uh, you how can you preview the results whether your results are going to be accurate or not so you can predict from this and whatever goals we have selected so these are some goals that are converging right now so there will be some kind of uh, variation in in this uh, results and also you can check the graph as well you can check the graphs by this okay so these are the gra graphs are happening uh, with the iteration so you can check the dynamic pressure is going lower right now So here we are, we are done with the results. I have calculated only 8 iteration. So don't judge on the results because it is not fully converged. 
because it, it was about to take a lot of time that's why i have calculated only eight iteration so how you can interpret the result i will show you one by one the best visual interpretation if you want to check the mesh you can check over the surfaces or also you can check the whole surfaces the refinement level and curvature criteria right so you can check your meshes and uh, sizes as well in the cut plot you can select any type of plane and i will make this just yes, here you can uh, select the streamlines iso lines right i will not select the curvature criteria right now i will select the velocity or pressure yes in the pressure i will yes so here you can see there is a low pressure on upper side so basically it will generate the lift and high pressure on lower side just because uh, results are fully uh, not fully converged that's why it is showing some kind of different results over there so this is how you can uh, check the cut plot and i was talking about the iso lines that is you can turn off the contour you can check on iso lines you can select the more numbers of lines for better visualization now you can see there is a separation uh, from the code line and lower lower pressure on upper side and higher pressure on lower side this is the cut plot you can see for better visualization you can check the scenes yes now i will hide the cut plots i will show the surface plots and check the pressure distribution yes you can check the pressure distribution over here on the surface plot i will you also you can check the minimum and maximum values over here i will hide this you can go to the flow trajectories for creating the flow trajectories now you can select the this plane at a particular distance place it if you want to generate the in in a plane then you can select the in plane but i don't want to i will create the more number of uh, yes three points appearance you can go with the dynamic as well dynamic trajectories we will select the spheres that is up to 10m okay and yes velocity it will clear the boolean operation yes you can see if you want this on a particular surface then you can select the particular surface where you want where you want to project the flow okay i have to delete this and you can go to flow trajectories you can select the surface you can create the 50 starting points were not created Okay, you can select the mesh point. Okay, you can see, and you can play this. You can minimize the total dimension of this arrow, so you will get a better visualization. Oops. now we will move on to the goal plots uh, whatever goals you have selected you you want the values right that is the uh, main thing you have to do so you can directly select to the goal plots and you can check whatever parameter you want to interpret according to the cpu time or in relevance of uh, iterations i will select the iteration that will be more accurate and you can directly export to the excel file and i will show you can also these are the values which we have gained throughout the simulation and you can select the history there are some graphs you can be, uh, compare 
with the your mathematical calculations also you can save those as a uh, image file okay and you can create the reports by creating yes you can add some pictures you can also import the data from the excel files you can create the ids and you have some kind of templates provided by solidworks yes and here you go this is creating some kind of report so yes you have the final format for creating the report it will take some time but yes it will worth it okay here you go the all all things we have done will be in the word file the matching details the analysis detail the boundary condition only one thing you have to do you have to input the result images and your data what you want to interpret and all so yes that's all for the video and in the next video we will meet with the some kind of technical calculation with the airfoils how how much uh, forces can how much forces is uh, going to be uh, distributed over the surface okay uh, till then thank you and keep sharing keep supporting thank you again